Hey everyone, welcome back. Got a really exciting back and forth 1v1 game for you today between Evil Boiler playing as the DAC and Moody playing as the USF. Casting it with me is my buddy Joe, aka War Daddy. As always, we'll do a build order review and a match recap at the end. Timestamps in the description below. Uh, hope you all enjoy, and with that, we'll roll on to the video. All right, so uh, we got an interesting matchup today in the south. Uh, or to south for me, because I like to flip the, the map around, it's really the west. We've got Evil Boiler playing as the DAC. Uh, and on the east side of the map, we've got Moody playing as the USF. Uh, like I said in the intro with me casting is uh, Joe War Daddy. Um, hey, glad to have you back, man. How you doing? Thanks for having me back. I'm doing well. How about yourself? Uh, hey, could be worse. I'm, I'm hanging out, watching some people play Company of Heroes. Yeah. Okay, I, I got a comment, though. Okay, so look on Moody's side. You got barracks towards the back uh -huh. of the map. So you're you're losing time based on when your infantry is running from. And he did two scouts, which is interesting. Um, yeah. One one is could be strategic. One's a mistake. I, you know, I, I'm inclined to agree. I know they get the, I know they get the kind of advanced capping speed, and it might make sense if he ends up going airborne later. But yeah, if yeah. I'm gonna get a second early unit that's not a combat unit, I'm gonna go with engineers for the minesweeper. Yeah, yeah the the default base location actually looks well. No, that's just the armory. Um, you know, I would say for my first base building, I put it you know a little bit further out so you get that one spawn, Extra and then you get the three, forward. Four seconds. And then you get the forward, uh, like, reinforce. Um, but for sure, and then after that, if you want to use the default and not micro that, just kind of plop stuff down, that makes sense. Um, using the crowd to cap up, focusing on the center with his Panzer Grenadiers. Pretty standard opening. Um, and he has another P-Gran queued up. He went straight through that 16 munis to block it. Oh, he's not blocking, he's just fighting. And he didn't mm -hmm. cap the fuel. Now he's getting flanked a bit. Oh, Moody, yeah, and he's... Yeah, so he left that fuel point. I thought he was going to stop the cap on the munis, but he just engaged and let them cap the munis. I'm just, I'm just a little bit... Yeah, next time, jump on it so you can prevent them from collecting those munis while you're on it. Yeah, interesting that he's still taking this engagement with the rifleman. Yeah, yeah, he's losing manpower there. And he finally retreats. Um... Otherwise, pretty standard, not super aggressive capping by either side. Uh, the crowd's going to need to repair because they come into contact again. They're just going to get micro down. Two shot by the scouts or something. <laughs> Alright, using the P-Grens with the, the crowd, that's smart. Looks like Moody's going to throw these scouts in the uh, the garrison. And then over here, a meeting engagement in the center. P-Grens versus rifles. With the height advantage, the p should win this pretty easily. Yeah, I feel like you can scoot those rifles up just a little bit and you actually on parity with them. You don't have to be at this angle. Yeah. And, and you can see Boiler could use the crowd to come over and really turn this engagement. Oh, oh grenade. tech grenade so early. Yeah, good micro, good micro. Good dodge, yep. And now the rifle's close. That's a good use of the grenade, right? Because if he doesn't dodge it, then you drop yeah, a couple models. Close distance. But that whole time they're dodging, they're not shooting back. So nice play there uh, by Moody to close that, close that gap. Second rifle squad coming up. Now he's using the, uh, the cat and crowd or the motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, oh, that engagement, getting pushed off. P grand in this. Whoa, he oh. hit it. That's wow. new. That is the that new was, patch. That was a quarterback throw right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's it's back to the old code two model where if the uh, if it's in range and the animation cues, you can't cause it to cancel by getting out of range, which I'm not so sure I agree with. Um, it really makes it hard for the light, especially the ultralight vehicles, to counter infantry. Because if you mess up your kiting for just a second, um, you're screwed. Oh, up, up top, in the north. Oh, they got the flamethrower and burned yeah, them out. The scout. So this is something else. There's another grenade. Decent dodge. This is what this is what's tricky, right? You keep taking these 50-50 engagements. Um, you really don't want to be doing that if you don't have to, right? Make sure if he had just waited or soft retreated, this MG34 suppresses the squad and he wins easily. And look, there's the instant retreat, right? Yep. I guess in this situation, there's not a huge advantage to soft retreat because there's no med truck. 
or anything. So he kind of needs to reinforce at some point. So we might as well just bait him that way. But yeah, typically you want a soft retreat. Yeah. Both sides getting out a machine gun. Um, you know, I don't hate this. The USF player uh, side teching for weapon support oh. center. That's not a bad idea. Especially with the DAC, you know, Zook squads are a good counter the light vehicle play. Yeah. Worth noting, neither player has chosen a, a commander or a battle group just yet. Which is interesting. Oh but, wow, I didn't even notice that. So, on, to be honest, that's normally how so I play back. no airborne mm -hmm. on the US side. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, you could you could go airborne, but he's already so heavily invested into rifles. Uh, it would it would seem silly, right? Yeah. If you look at this fuel point, I don't know why, but the MG here isn't set up. It's just capping, standing there. Mm -hmm. so you, might, you might as well have an arc going. Oh, there we go. He set it up. Yeah. Right, rifles forced to retreat. The machine gun's gonna cover and keep them from getting run down. And Panzer Pio's retreat in the center. Pretty even map control split here, um, although Boiler has a slightly better KD at the moment. Man, I, is Moody going to be able to keep up munitions-wise? He's using a lot of grenades. He's throwing a lot of grenades. Yeah. Now, the one for the Krodschusen was absolutely worth it. That, oh, yeah. It you know just deletes so much capping power early. And smart to get these rifles out of the fire of the, uh, the garrison. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if they needed to do the hard immediate retreat there, but um, probably not. You could just you could have scoot back and done a uh, garrison over here in that building. I can't mark things on the spectator, but you know what I'm saying. So Moody, you know, he's clearly waiting for the light vehicles to come out, and and smartly because the eight rod just popped for evil boiler. Um, he's got his first Zook squad out, which. The Zooks are, are decent, especially once they vet up. I find myself normally having to have two. Because um, you could, one, you can push off a light vehicle, but it's about an even trade. And you never want it to be an even trade. They lose models so quick, too. Yeah, they're very squishy. There we go. Doing good work. Yep. About an even trade, but he's got two models left. Gone. Another oh, grenade. grenade. That was a really good grenade. Oh, he started to bring them back, but they are getting burned yeah. down. He's got this uh, track with the assault grins in it, but they're not able to close with the Zook squad in time. Instead, I think he's going to go hunting for this MG. See that full retreat with the rifles on uh, Moody's side? They didn't have any models dropped. I, I think I would have kept them around a little bit longer for the grenade support against the 8 rod. Yeah. And missed opportunity with this uh, half track there. With the assault grins in the back. Oh man, look at the snares Ooh, though. And then immediate retreat. That was probably smart. You're gonna bleed. This. <laughs> Get out of there, right? <laughs> yeah, especially with the eight rod and the assault grins there. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna lose manpower. Yeah. Couple units back in the base. I wonder what I wonder what the plan is here. So it looks like Moody has locked in special operations and he's unlocked the weasel with the pack howitzer. Um, which is interesting because it looks like he's been getting ready for vehicle play. Um, and he clearly went mechanized support center upgrade. He's got the 75 mil uh, half track out. Still no selection on evil boiler. Dak can kind of play that way. Their base army is really well balanced. Consistent throughout battle group. And so it comes, yeah, it comes to more of like a stylistic thing. How you want to play versus what you need to win. Um, which is something I think Co3 has done better than Co2 in creating their factions. Just personal opinion. Um, no, I think I agree. We've got gun motor carriage out. I don't see that very often. It's a good... Half track. Yeah, yeah, it's good against those new light vehicles. These Panzergrins are in danger, but they're going to throw a grenade on the machine gun. Yeah, Ooh. One. Ooh. I don't know if he's going to be able to retreat that. Yeah, it'll. It. Oh, it drops a model, but it is gonna get away. These assault trends might go down. Ooh, pretty close. Yeah, with the recent health Probably nerf, but chase that one. And he's bold with this single <laughs> Panzer Grenadier. Rifle. And so big meeting engagement. Uh, Evil Boiler's gonna take it. 
Um, but both sides really have to go back and lick their wounds. Meanwhile, some counter capping uh, on the north side the of the map from Moody. The yep. And the Pios are going to, you know, heal this half track and then probably use it as a clown car. Oh, interesting here. Sometimes you catch Pios repairing, you can chunk them down. Um, but they, you know, boiler reacts appropriately and the scouts are forced to retreat. You know, that's what it is. Moody's using his resources to kind of tech up. You see unlocked BARs. Um, he's got some spare manpower. You would think, typically with the allies, you see a this larger army size. Oh, oh, just a little too close. Poor, poor scatter. Unlucky. Unfortunate. The retreats are going really early. Yeah. For Moody, I think that's hurting him, just just pressure-wise, especially as USF. Yeah, it's one thing to be suppressed uh, in contact, but when it's just like, okay, you're Pressure. suppressed, you can you just... crawl your way out. Yeah, exactly. Pinned, find, you're not going to do anything. But again, you have this barrage with the mo motor carriage. You can move that MG. Does it have smoke as an option? I don't. I do not know. If I click it, I don't see what it can do. Good, good reface on the machine gun here. That'll probably turn this engagement. Nope. Oh, there you go. It's funny. Both players really worried about vehicles. Uh, Boiler's got a martyr out now. Still no choice on battle group. Moody has gone for the anti-infantry loiter, which normally the DAC player will have a flak track out that'll kind of obviate that, that loiter, but it's not here. So um, when that hits, it'll be effective. Oh. Here we go. Good barrage. That's what I was thinking earlier. Yeah. That's perfect. And uh, Moody's got no mortar out. You would think with access to the pack howitzer, that's what you'd prefer. But uh, it does its job yeah. and it forces the MG off. Oh, it's this definitely count. something useful against his bill, but I probably would have done it third or fourth unit as opposed to now. Mm -hmm. it's, but, it does, what utility do you get over when you had that motor carriage already? Yeah, I don't want to criticize too much because I think people get locked in and they don't react. And so, yeah. like, I appreciate <laughs> that him. That build order. Yeah, I, I appreciate him going back and saying, look, I need indirect, I need, I need smoke, right? Um, and you see he's making a concerted push on the south end of the map here, yeah, trying good. to force off. Really good with the... the uh, if he had timed up that push, if the Zooks had yeah. made first contact, if he had... Just changed up the timing a little bit. He might have been able to close to that eight rod and get a, a snare off. And that would have done some real damage. Just unlucky there on the timing with the terrain. Is this bottom star been deep, not capped for five minutes or so? No, I think uh, I think Boiler was about to finish the, the recap and okay. stopped for some reason. Um, would you, uh, you know, he wins the engagement there. Worth noting that the assault friends have that that one uh, ability that helps them really uh, ramp up their damage. Something you see the really high end players use quite a bit. Uh, well, this Zook squad. Now, that one they can unlock tactical That's sprint. That's the combined arms passive, or are you talking about tactical tactical no, assault? The tactical assault. Oh, and the assault guns, they're, they're pinned now, but one thing I love about them is their smoke grenade. It helps you break suppression. He's trying to clear it with this panzer gun squad, force the machine gun to reface. Which, uh... Some some chunk damage, but no real no real model drops there. And the assault guns are going to recover. Second Zook squad out now for Moody. Alright, and Evil Boiler has gone armored support. Moody's been using a lot of munis with the bars and the grenades, but he still has more. I think boiler. those 100, uh, 100 munition machine gun upgrades probably yeah, cost MG quite a bit. Yeah. Interesting, both sides kind of That's setting up mortar. here. Oh, that mortar's in direct fire. Oh, nice! Use the white good. phosphorus. I'm I. That made me sad that they nerfed the white phosphorus on the bazooka squads. I really loved that. <laughs> it's probably based on their their price. Probably good good call. <laughs> yeah, but it was just so satisfying. Be like, oh, you want to you want to have a machine gun here? <laughs> Moody should win this engagement. 
that but I would have to oh, wow. push him off the middle. That was good. Good aggressive push, and it if he closes, the eight rod's gonna come to support the martyr, but he's just gonna get a snare for his trouble. Yeah, and then he's got this uh carriage oh, in the background too. Are... Just gotta watch out. I don't know if he's seen this martyr yet. He he has to have I have I have it set to view from both players. He has to have seen it with that rifle know. squad push. Yeah, potentially. And so the Zooks here are going to decap and then push, interestingly. Uh, you know, Panzer Jaeger is now coming out for Evil Boiler. At this point, you know, well, you know what? He probably doesn't have the upgrade to get AT guns out. And he's probably trying to save fuel for Tier 4. Okay, um, no, he's, he's definitely seen the martyr. <laughs> yeah. At this point, though, if I'm him, I, Panzer Jaegers are fine. I'm worried about tanks coming out. You know, mechanized support center uh, upgrade to the headquarters. The first thing you see is probably going to be a 76 mil Sherman. Eight Rod doing work to their treating Zook squad. Good, good preemptive defense set up here. Now he's got the AT gun out. He's got quite a bit of anti-vehicle power. Yeah, good use of the smoke. About earlier. Yep, and then Pgren's flanking. Uh, and then machine is just going to retreat. I wonder if he thought about throwing a grenade over that hedge there. Now this Pgren squad is kind of trapped and the martyr doesn't have anything to shoot at. Oh, oh. Martyr's going to eat an AT gun round and a bazooka. Both players are doing a good job at keeping everything alive. Yeah, they really are. Oh, Boiler's going for uh, going for a tiger here. He's unlocking armored reserves. And I'm just now noticing the VP balance is uh, very much in Boiler's favor. <laughs> I wonder if he'll be able to get a tiger out before he closes this. This has been pretty solid back and forth. Um, a lot of the hard retreats have ceased. Some Both sides. Made out now. Oh, a Greyhound. Interesting. Yeah. That's 17 a, minutes in. I don't. Too late. I don't know if that's the answer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, your your issue is not so much infantry. Those trades have been relatively balanced, and you're not going to be able to do much against a martyr. Eight round, you can push off, but yeah, 17 minutes is. You probably want those in at what? Eight nine. Yeah. It's, I mean, sometimes you see them as as fast as six minutes. Yeah. And then over here, you've got. The Greyhound staring down a half track with Panzer Jaegers in it. Oh, this half track. Oh man, one more straight bullet and Ooh, that thing is done. Martyr. Did the Martyr's martyr go down? down? Oops. Oh, nice flank. Yeah, he, he sniped him. Oh, and this half track's gonna get away with one sliver of health. These Panzer Jaegers doing a lot of damage to this Greyhound, but it looks like it too will escape. If they had stayed in the half track, it might have been enough. Oh, there goes that there goes the 75 mil to the machine gun fire on the rear armor oh man this is amped up considerably you got triple fed uh -oh, infantry MA's squads in the center down. oh yeah it's got it with the pansy Jaeger. holy cow this running infantry battle in the center town there's a lot of a lot of violence yeah this half track's definitely dead Eight rod here to counter punch. It's just gonna eat snares. Oh, not enough munitions for a second snare. Uh, so it it may survive. Yep, they're not gonna get it off. So the eight rod's gonna get away. Pigren's coming up to support as well. Like, don't hang out there with the eight rod though. You don't want to wait for. Oh. AT gun uh -oh. shot in. It needs to turn the corner the here. It's getting pretty close. Uh, gonna it's going to get away. This half track is going to go down, though. Oh, man. So, about three minutes after we talked about how good these guys did keeping everything alive, we see a bunch of stuff <laughs> die. <laughs> Even so, I'm looking at Moody, and his, his units are getting vetted up. He, he hasn't lost his core. None of his riflemen have gone down. Um... He's about to get a triple cap, and if you look at the KD, 70 to 49 for infantry, but 4 to 1 for vehicles, that's huge. Um, that's a lot of fuel that uh, Boiler's invested that's not on the field right now. 
Oh, these Zooks just need to get out of here. They're going to get melted by these triple vet Panzer Grenadiers, and they do retreat. Hey, smart. Using the mortar to cap, it's going to have to retreat if the assault can start to close. Yeah, yeah sure. it's getting out of there. It's a good triple cap by Moody. Yeah, if just for a minute. Yeah. The Greyhound will do just fine against this machine gun, but he's got to be careful with the Panzer Jaegers in the back. The, the, the double order's gone. Yeah. A little bit safer on the field for him. Yeah. I'm trying to think, have there been any indications of Boiler's commander? He's got nine command points, so he can easily unlock the, the loiter. Armored support, no. Is that he, what he has? He, that's what he has, but he hasn't... There haven't been any tells. I don't think there'd be any way for you to know because he hasn't used any of the battle group abilities. Oh, oh, you're for uh, Moody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that there would be nothing unique. Yeah. Yeah, and both of them are are sitting on quite a few command points. You know, for for Moody, the assault Day operation nine. could be really helpful in uh in kind of decapping and reestablishing a triple cap. Um, he's got two more machine guns out now. That tells me he is sick of dealing with this Axis infantry. <laughs> These rifles are going to get forced off. Boiler's got 275 munis, so if he had some ability, some loiter or strafe, that might help his case. He's got yeah. stuff to waste. Although there's not much for it to shoot at right now, just the Greyhound on the field. Good use of the machine guns to zone out the, the center. Tiger's out. 21 minutes. There you go. Well, and I wonder how many upgrades he has. For it? No, no he doesn't no, have... He did the veteran squad. Yeah, that's the only thing he did. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> he says, thanks for that AT gun shot. I don't care. <laughs> You're underestimating the crater. It's a little engine that could. I don't even know if it could pen... On a, completely in the reverse. Yeah. It, there's nothing on the... Like, the bazookas will do deflection damage, but the tiger will eat those squads up. Yeah, at this point, you can be pretty aggressive with the tiger if you want it to be. You own the battlefield. Moody's just now building his tank depot. So yeah, he is unprepared got, for this. Got three minutes of Oof. open season. This MG is done. Yeah, one more shot. Oh! Ooh. And the tiger is going to take its attention elsewhere. I that AT gun. I think that frontal shot still going to bounce. The tiger, honestly, just holding the line for Boiler while he kind of recoups the rest of his army. So he's now, you know, not in VP trouble, but he's under a triple cap. So he needs to make this next push uh, and needs to hit hard um, or he'll be kind of behind the eight ball here moving forward. Yeah, he's still got 300 of buffer, so he's in a decent spot. Yeah, you're right, that triple cap will take down relatively quick. And an AT gunshot pens, and now Zook squad's moving up. Do you know if he got you, the upgraded uh, rockets on the Zook squads? Let's see. Oh, these rifle squads are going to grab the 8 rod. Oh. Just one snare, but he's out of munitions, so maybe it'll survive this. Uh -oh. And here comes the loiter from uh, the dance amphitry loiter. Oh, this triple vet rifle squad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, That's a big it's loss. gone. Hate to see it. And the eight rod is going to get away, protected by the base. Anti infantry loiter not doing much to the tiger, suppressing some infantry. This machine gun, double vet machine gun in the center could go down. Oh, another rifle squad gonna go down here. Oh, overextended trying to get that eight rod and uh, and he's not gonna get the kill and he's gonna lose his two bedded up rifle squads in the process. That's, that's tough. Moody building a Jackson, but with the new tiger frontal armor, um, he's gonna have to be really smart about how he plays this. 
and, and he now has no frontline infantry. Yeah. To cap, he only has bazookas and machine guns. Yeah, and support. both of his squads, uh, scout squads are gone. Yep. Um, machine guns are good. Oh, no, now he's pumping out a rifleman. He knows. Yeah. He needs yep. that. <laughs> You, but he's special operations. Why not unlock the commandos? They'll scale better this late in the game. He's got 12 commander points unused. Mm -hmm. Machine gun hits a mine over here, only loses one model. Assault friends recapping the middle. They're going to come under machine gun fire. Oh, he's got 350 munitions. There's the smoke. There's the smoke. And so he'll capture the center VP. Tiger's going to be being repaired for another minute or two at least. Enemy fire! Cool. Good use of the phosphorus to force off the MG. And Moody's going to get a triple cap up again. Jackson on the flank, and it looks like Moody is content. It's become very quiet suddenly. He's content to zone out with some machine guns, hold on to the the VPs, and uh, and let Boiler reset. Um, he'll be it's able like, to get likely wise. He doesn't have a lot of forward momentum ability with the lack of rifles at this point. Yeah, just let him run into your MGs. Yeah. Oh, an eight rod on the north side is going to probe. Got a mine there. so fast He's going around it I think it's his mine is it his mm -hmm. he could continue to chase but he's not going to oh, this this Jackson is reacting to that so it's pulling across the battlefield and, oh it looks like he's thought better of it yeah. yeah yeah this is your this is your spearhead another Jackson in queue but if Moody's AT gun where it is on that down Oh side. my oh. goodness. Oh, that's that's tilting oh, yeah. if you're Moody. <laughs> oh, uh, no. He's never going to recover. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll, maybe he'll get it back. Who knows? Tiger's going to finish that one off right now. There, yeah, there it is. Rifle squad, but the machine gun positioned smartly to suppress. You could probably, if you had the Tiger at this moment in time and you knew what Moody had, would you be playing? A little bit more aggressive if you i mean if you knew yeah i think you would you try to pin that jackson down i'd probably try to get another martyr or two out lure the jackson into a push the tiger playing by itself so you kind of need a little bit of uh, yeah help with it but you can even do it with the eight round oh though. this zook squad again it goes down and the jackson's out of position to take a shot and then whiffs Ooh. Oh Smart man, Greyhound there. Oh, another Jackson. Mm -hmm. But even then, he's going to have to be smart about how he plays this. Yeah. The new Tiger armor is just too good, and the Jackson's still too finicky at range. Well, if he gets the snare off on this. Oh, there goes the Greyhound oh. to the Tiger. Good use of the Tiger's infantry to spot for the Tiger. Meanwhile, under this support. Boiler setting up a triple cap. Oh, this is dangerous. This tiger could go down here to these Jacksons on the flank. Oh, I think it will. Oh, but here's the uh, here's the Stuka loiter. They should get off. They should get off a few shots before. Oh, they're gonna oh, back man. all the way out, and the Stuka loiter, I think, is gonna let them go. They're really close to the circle, though. I've been shot that close before. Oh yeah. <laughs> so when the planes get a little bit. Hell, it's uh, so. Hungry. Yeah. But normally, you know, there's the indicator on top, and that went away, so I think he knew that they were safe. Is he going for the fast flank here on the Tiger? Maybe he thinks he can sneak around. Oh, this would be epic. Oh, no. Cancel or keep going? He's going to commit. Oh, well, he doesn't have any engineers for the repair, so... Oh, the Panzer Jaegers oh, get one. man. Fire. Oh, oh no. That's, heart that's heartbreaking. That? Oh, that's, that's probably really it right there. The Panzer had a perfect shot, the perfect timing. The Tiger just got a shot off first. You gotta love the bold play there, going for the yeah. flank. Yeah, and Moody throws it in. Oh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, that ending was good. Hey, everyone. Uh, we're back, so we're going to start with the build order review.
Um, a little bit unorthodox here, but that's what we'd like to see. Uh, it's boring watching people play the meta all the time. All right, so for uh, Evil Boiler, uh, relatively standard start with the, the Panzer Pio and the Karad shoots into cap up and two Panzer Grenadiers. He immediately went for an MG34, kind of recognizing the infantry he's seen on the other side, got an Assault Grenadier out, and then he transitioned to a lot of light vehicle play. So 8-Rod, um, a Panzer Gear to support, a Martyr, uh, and a lot of half-tracks on the field that he was using pretty aggressively. Um, that came with the Panzer Jäger and the Assault Grenadier, and then obviously the Tiger at the end of the match. Uh, for Moody, playing as a special operations battle group, started with two scouts, which is definitely interesting, into two rifles, uh, and then weapon support center, so HMG, Bazooka Squad, and because he went mechanized support, he's able to build the 75mm half-track straight from the weapon support center. So interesting uh, attack there. Then he got went back, got a mortar uh, out to help provide some support, another bazooka squad, and from there is a lot of team weapons, AT gun, a couple of more HMGs, into the Greyhound, uh, and then Jackson's to deal with the Tiger. So I'm going to pass this over to Joe. Uh, he'll provide some initial analysis, and then we'll do uh, one up, one down for these guys. So Joe, yeah, what did you see? More, more focused on Moody. I think he had really good micro overall. Honestly, I didn't see too many mistakes in that regard. Um, it was just the build order that he was working with that gave him a lot of challenges. I think there was a lack of riflemen up front that would have helped him instead of recruiting those two to three MGs to control the infantry. If you had three rifles and maybe two commandos, which weren't utilized on that um, uh, battle group, that would have helped him a lot. Um, as well as, like you were saying, he spent a lot of munition or no fuel on those upgrades for their infantry uh, that could have been used for the vehicle and that the m8 the greyhound was a little bit late as well and you could have saved that for either a sherman and a jackson it's it just the build order was his main struggle but i thought his micro was quite good he was playing really well um especially with the grenade usage and everything like that um i think he could have put up a better challenge uh, just with the build yeah and that's fair and so you know like I said, I, I like to see people that kind of get away from the meta. So it's interesting to think like, all right, if you're Moody, um, how do you play this way, like play with this build order and still make it viable? I mean, I think he right. did a really good job. Like you pointed out at one point, we were like 17 minutes in, neither had lost a vehicle, neither had lost a squad, right? You're just trading <laughs> and models. It's been 20 minutes and everyone was dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot had happened. <laughs> yeah, but but you know that that's an indicator of like you have a balanced force, you're using it well, everyone everything's supporting everything else. So so really well done there. I think he made it's kind of like a classic co mistake of like trying to rely on bridging units just a little too long, right? Bazookas are are still kind of a soft counter, especially against tanks, right? So leaning on them into the late game is risky even with the the upgraded rockets uh the greyhound late felt a little bit like a mistake um i see what he's thinking but you're better off and he had tons of fuel for a while getting that uh tank depot out getting the up gun for the sherman or getting a sherman bulldozer if you're really worried about infantry that's a great counter um but you know really good job supporting using his team weapons like even when the tiger first hit the field uh it it took a lot of damage up front and had to back off so he was he was prepared um, in some ways. I would say the other thing for Moody, I would really think about getting an engineer out instead of a second scout. And with DAC, the real danger is getting run down with light vehicles. So a couple of mines, uh, you know, mines win games. And he had no problem spending munitions uh, this game. So um, that mine, I think, is is useful in your rear area to kind of prevent those uh, over aggressive pushes. Um, that ending was heartbreaking with the Jacksons. <laughs> yeah, it's such the a, shots off. It was <laughs> such a good idea. Uh, I, and you, you love the play, like hyper aggressive. Yeah, unlucky twice with the shot from the Panzer Jaeger and the early one from the Tiger. Yeah, the, yeah the, that, was, that was a good call. The kill shot to the Tiger just bounces. Oh, brutal. Um, <laughs> for uh, for Evil Boiler, uh, you know, pretty good balanced play across the board. Good use of the Panzer Grands. Really good dodges on the grenades in the beginning. And, and dodging in different ways, which makes it hard for your opponent to read you. Sometimes he'd back off and get back into cover. Sometimes he'd push forward. Um, good use of the assault grants with the smoke. I would have liked him see, uh, I would have liked to see him use the assault grants and the Panzer Jaegers in the half track to run down squads or light vehicles. I think he had a chance to, to knock out that Greyhound early with the Panzer Jaegers and just missed it. Um, and then uh, the, the Tiger, obviously awesome. Uh, but he had tons of fuel, uh, probably could have gotten some additional support out for it, whether it's a couple of martyrs to defend it against Jackson's. Um, 
or like a P3 to sit there with it and kind of kind of protect it against infantry. Now, the Tiger doesn't necessarily need it, but if it gets overwhelmed, it loses a lot of its power. Um, and then the last thing for both players, uh, you know, I understand wanting to be flexible with the, uh, the battle groups, but like when you have the command points, like put them to use. At one point, I think both had 12 CPs, and Moody could have used commandos late game when the rifle squads went down. Um, Evil yep. Boiler had a couple opportunities to use uh, the Stuco Loiter to really throw an engagement. Neither did that, but um, still really good play. It's really hard when you're in the thick of it to think of all these things. So um, really appreciate you guys uh, sending us a replay, letting us do the cast. Joe, appreciate you coming on uh, again. Um, thanks for thanks for taking the time. And yeah, uh, thanks again. And well played on both sides. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, that's it for us here, and we'll see you in the next video.